as you know, for the past few years, I've had a Dyson V11 Absolute Plus. We opened it on this channel. I have shown you all the positives and all the times it broke. But as of today, I no longer own a Dyson V11. Hopefully, time of filming this video, it's got eight hours to go. And there's been many zero feedback bidders knocking it up a bit, which is very annoying. But let's just assume that all has gone well. It's time to show you what I'm going to replace my Dyson V11 with now and why I've chosen it in the hope that it fills the gap that all of these still have. Let's have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Happy Sunday. No, your subscription feed is not lying to you. This is a random extra video because, as you know, I have a fair few cordless vacuum cleaners, but they've all missing a little bit. This Beldre roller cordless, for instance, great fun. Not the form factor, but let's be honest, it is still pretty terrible, even with the Hoover H3 floor head. We've then got the Greenote GSC50 that we recently had on this channel, gifted to me. And whilst it's very good for picking up the bits, indeed I've been using it a lot just because it's grab and go. It's not a deep cleaner. And again, I just don't like the whole stick vac format. So that's what I have decided in my use of the V11, in my ownership. It's a very good vacuum cleaner, but I just don't like sticks. Have the Tinko Floor One S12, which is brilliant for everything bar carpet and above floor. And as you know, I've got a Tinko Pure One S12, which I just don't rate. It clogs its filter up too much. And for upstairs, we have Veronica, my Vorwerk VR100. And Veronica trundles around, keeping upstairs very clean with the added bonus of I have to keep upstairs very tidy, otherwise she eats things and sits there beeping pitifully. But again, yeah, can't really, can't really do any dusting with old Veronica. She is floors only. Then, as you saw yesterday, indeed yesterday, we saw that Sheena is, as well as being done, cordless. Because I managed to find a nice cheap set of batteries. And to be honest, it is using Sheena, because this was done a little while ago. Obviously, you have to wait for the videos to come up. I've been using Sheena quite a lot. And just having a cordless vacuum cleaner with a nice hose has been amazing. Grab it, dust the desk, grab it, you know, pick up the bits from the birdcage. Really nice. The only problem with Sheila is that she weighs a ton. She is more suitable for roaming the fjords of offices and the veils of shopping centres and whatnot. She is not really that brilliant for trundling around the house. And also, it is, I'm going to say, old technology. And what I mean by that is, obviously, in its day, Absolutely brilliant. Sheila spins her 1300 watts brushed Antec motor at 300 watts with fantastic ability. But airflow is just not fab. It's there, picks the bits up, but it's just technologically a bit outdated. And that's a problem with cordless vacuum cleaners, really. And you know, Dyson, at least, is a good way to demonstrate this. Every machine that comes out is quantifiably better than the other. And Karcher do an updated T1, T, uh, T1, T9, which another collector has, and he says it is very good, and I'm sure it is, but again, it's still a big heffalump of a machine. So, there's actually a fellow collector called Mike, who runs MK Floor Care in Sheffield. Mike, I owe you one big time for this. He hooked me up with a cordless vacuum cleaner that I think is going to tick all the boxes that I need. Let's get rid of all of these, because they're not the star of the show. I'm ever so excited. This box arrived literally nine o'clock this morning. It's now 2.45, and I've had to wait to film it until I was done with all my work. Let's get unboxed 
you, you know what it is from the video thumbnail and title, my new pneumatic cordless. Why a pneumatic cordless? Why specifically the horrifically expensive NBV 190NX? Because yes, it is very expensive. MK, it's actually MK Floor Tech Services, reading the label, not Floor Care, but you'll find it. It's probably one of the only decent vacuum shops in Sheffield nowadays. He was happy to sell it to me. He doesn't really care who he sells them to. The only problem is he said it cost, and I had to pay the VAT, which is why it's probably so expensive, £500. That is the main reason why the V11 had to go onto eBay, because hey, I'm not going to use it anyway. We use, when I use the Shark IC160 for vacuum cleaner of the month. I didn't have the V11, in fact I gave it a refurb, so I really didn't have it. And I didn't miss it. But obviously the Shark had its own massive set of issues anyway, and um, wasn't the keeper. And I was thinking before of a Henry Cordless. They are only £199, a heck of a lot cheaper than this kit. But the problem is, this is the latest technology. It goes back to what I said about the cordless cleaners. So we have a 350 watt digital motor, rather than the brushed one in the Henry cordless, and the new and improved 36 volt battery tech, which is the NX300. So I thought if I'm gonna buy something that you know, I'm gonna to wanna to keep for a few years, may as well do it properly and you know, splash out on this. It turns out I've actually managed to pay for it before the V11 sells, just through refurbishing Dysons and selling some other stuff on eBay. She's actually all paid for, so whatever the V11 goes for is mine. Now the reason it's in this box is because the battery comes separate, and we both agreed, me and Mike, that it's probably a bit stupid to send them separately because one will blatantly get lost. And I've no idea what's in this, and already I can see that Mike has given me a nice wodge of genuine pneumatic HEPA flows. That's amazing. Thank you very much indeed. So we have the vacuum cleaner itself. And that's it in this box, I'm pretty sure. Yep, that's it. So we can oh, put that to one side. Yeah, this has been opened because obviously he tried to stuff the battery into the box. So it all came together, which is go away. Fairly reasonable. So, the NBV190 from 2021, week 27, so it's really, really new. And yeah, notice it said less battery. One of the reasons this costs so much flipping money is the battery on its own is knocking on for £300. And yeah, you normally have to buy it separately. Obviously, commercially, you'd have the floor scrubber that it fits and the backpack vacuum and whatnot, so we had to do a little bit of a deal, and yeah, here it all is, in all of its glory. There's a couple of other things in here as well, I think, because I sent Mike, well, actually part exchange something else with this quite nice. So it didn't fully cost me £500, but, you yeah, know, that's what it costs. So, we have a bag of tools. We have the carpet and hard floor brush, well, it's one of the newer style plastic ones, probably wouldn't like it too much for commercial, but for my domestic use it's fine, we'll get it all out and then go through it. We have a three pin IEC power cable, presumably for the charger. We have the conical hose, nice slightly redesigned from the ones I've seen before, machine end, very exciting. Because it's the commercial model, we have ourselves the very light grey aluminium ones. Oh, this is so exciting. No, I think we're actually getting, because I've, I've got to take it out in the order that he put it in. So this is, it's, it's ever so light because of the battery, the machine itself. <coughs> then another layer, we have the instruction manual. We have oof, the battery, which yeah is completely separate. You have to be sure when you buy this to get that as well. And the charger with it. So, here it is. To bring you down a bit and we'll get, I can't call it heavy cordless, so I've got to be careful to not mention heavy cordless, because he's not. He's completely and utterly different. Heavy cordless is 
very different to this. Let's unbox you. And yeah, we'll get it put together and see how it works. Fantastic. Put all that to one side. Well, I'll still put that to one side for a minute. We best open up the tool because we're going to need them fairly soon. We'll slip the packet. We're going to have to wait for the pneumatic people amongst you to tell me if this is the head that comes with the corded ones or not because Henry Cordus comes with a different head but yeah we have ourselves some brushes a nice strip there fairly reasonable that can go there I'd imagine that the small tools are exactly the same as they always have been can't imagine they would do anything special for this and they'd probably roll these out of the production line in their thousands and yet crevice tool Ooh, a nice dusting brush, but that's a lot thinner than the older models. They used to be quite bushy. But then again, they also used to suck their brushes in with the airflow. So who knows? It may not have enough airflow to do that. And then the standard upholstery tool with the brushes and the double taper. I have to say, this one isn't my favourite tool at all. These are okay. So we may end up using something else. I don't know. And yes, this is... The pneumatic himself, and yet it's actually serial number 56 as well. Wow, the 56th one off of the production line. To take the top off, and yeah, we have a very different base because obviously he has a completely different motor that doesn't come off, that is a fixed in place, so we won't go ripping that to bits. Then we have been ages, years, decades since I've had a brand new pneumatic. I had a Henry Hound once when they were £130 on eBay. And we George when that was 160 God, things used to be so cheap. Yeah, I think this is a fairly standard bottom. As in, I don't think this is too bespoke to these. So that and the filter is the same. If I can get that back on. But yeah, this is the completely different bit. He's got a big hole in the back of his head bless him, which is where the battery goes. So we'll pop that there. Let's open up the charger, because we may well need that. Oh. Get it out of the box. Yeah, the new NX300 line. So this only fits this and the other range of NX machines. Are you going to tell me what the other machines are? Nope. Don't need to worry about that. Crikey, that is quite large even got a fan at the back of it oh dear yeah obviously plugs into there charges up the battery very groovy indeed we'll pop those back in there and then we have the very expensive i think this cost more than this i think i've seen the bare units of these with the tools but without the battery for about 200 and something pounds <laughs> There is, it's, it's why, but then again, we all spend £600 on Dyson V11s a couple of years ago and sold them. And people are spending the same again on the V15. So I guess it's not terribly far from the truth. And yeah, 36 volts, 8,400 milliamp hours, 300 kilowatt hours. I don't really pretend to know much about battery technology other than, yeah, you know, newer is better when it comes to them. Crikey. There is the charger, the charger, the battery. It's made in China, so they obviously import these in, just with the pneumatic label on it, from Somerset, but I think the only time this saw Somerset is when this box came in on the pallet and then came out to me here. I'm assuming it's also got some charge in it. There's not actually a charging thing because it's in the machine to tell me so. Slide this in to Henry. Henry, pneumatic. Oh, that's cool. Look, push the button and it comes in. He now weighs a bit more and he's actually quite backwards heavy. But has he actually got any charge in him? One bar. Okay. No, two bars. That's not bad for his T speed. Very good. Yes, yeah, Pong with Sheila, she didn't have sharp suction. This has very sharp suction. One of the reasons I sort of wanted to go for it over anything else. The problem is this is about the only form factor of a cordless machine. 
Ooh, would you go on? Eh. Find the thread. This is the only real form factor cordless that is you know, just like putting a normal Henry round rather than you know stick back or the shark type or anything else. God, the quality though. That's the that's the mould line on the cuff. I mean I've obviously mentioned before pneumatic quality isn't quite what it used to be, and yeah, this is certainly showing that. That is ever so powerful. Quite quiet as well. You can even hear the airflow. And if we put the head on, this is where the EU style head is going to really help because it will clamp itself down. The quick pickups, you know. Oh, it gets the dirt off of the lines in the carpet. But we can put him in high. That's not too bad at all. That is. Very, very nice to you. I mean, he's not going to be a deep cleaner. And I'll be honest, I sort of realised over the years that if I want to give this rug the smashing of its life, I'd go and get a Hoover Senior down from the loft and do it. What I really want is to be able to put the double taper hose on, put the dusting brush on, and just run it around and clean. You know, I can clean my chair. Oh, get you out of the way. You know, I can get all the bird seed off of the gaps without any fuss or bother. We can, yeah, it's just grab and go, really. 500 pounds worth of grab and go, not going to lie, but grab and go nonetheless. Crikey, it's very quiet as well. Seems to be 200 size. So, here he is, pneumatic NBX. Can't, doesn't really roll off the tongue very well. That is a slight issue with him. And of course, being the standard Henry at the back, we have space for our tools. And we can even dock the wand like so. I think it takes up about the same amount of real estate as the Dyson did, but it was on its stand, and obviously you had to charge it on its stand. This will just sit quite nicely. At the bottom of the stairs when the hose loosens up a bit should be okay not actually a tapered hose i think i've just realized from seeing it like that it is the old style straight hose which seems to be a little bit iffy but who knows we could try him with a tapered hose because now i'm going to put a bit of dirt down and we'll see how he picks it up although it's going to be more than he usually does because obviously i could just push him round when I've got five minutes here and there, take him out to the car, take him out to the shed, and it's all just really good. Let me get all of this stuff out of the way, and I'll get some other stuff down, and we'll have a bit of a play with him. Before we get into chucking some muck down, and having a proper go with Mr Pneumatic, I got some of his friends round that I happen to have to hand. Yes, my two of the three, because do have another one, which I don't think you've seen yet, so I'll be quiet, are down. And I think, looking at him, he's certainly 200 sized, not 160 sized. I mean, if we take off the top, that's so light. Don't want to open it up yet. We will do one day, but I can't do it when he's just new. Oh, gosh, yes. Ah, can't actually take that off. But, yeah, it's certainly not 160 size. So, we can put... Mr. RGB Henry over there, but he is 200 size, so if we take my NV200 look with his red filter, it drops straight on and clicks into place, and look, we can certainly make him look a little bit different, yeah, they think it's the same, they've obviously redesigned the bin, we could put the NV200 head on the bin and, yeah, have hilarious fun with that but we won't that was only just to prove the point that yeah size wise i thought these were 160 size i think i was getting a bit confused with the henry cordless who has 160 in his name but that's fine i mean not going to notice too much you also can't put him on any other way because he's got the notch there i'm charging the battery at the minute whilst i get set up that's why he has no battery in him but yeah certainly 1980s to 
literally a couple of weeks ago, 2021, the family resemblance is still there. We can even take the 3D face off. <laughs> Wrong one. We can even take the 3D face off, but I don't know. I think I'll leave it on there. Look, make him truly commercial. But where's the fun in that? Let's put this back on. Because he's going to have a smiley face, hasn't he? Yeah, right. Where was I? Oh, yeah, I was going to chuck a bit of muck down. That's why I got this out, mainly so you can see it a bit more. And yeah, we'll see how the hen the pneumatic NBV 190 copes with normal dirt that I might have. And a bit more, of course. First thing I'm going to do is something very dear to me and Phoenix's heart. Come on then. Millet. Yeah, we're we'll going for a fair bit of millet. That he's up there already. And seed in general. And the problem with millet is that when the bird starts to eat it. Come on then. Step up. Do you want some? Yeah. Look, you go. Look. I know you're not, it's all different, isn't it? Look, it's only your millet. As soon as you hang it up and, you know, the bird starts to go at it, it all just falls off. And normally it goes into the bird's mouth. So, yeah, it's terribly messy. And we get this with millet. We get it with nutri berries. We had one of those somewhere. Where's your nutri berry gone that I had laid out ready for you? Have you eaten it? Ah, oh, Phoenix. Wanted to scrunch one up. We go get another nutri berry. Oh, no, here it is. Look, yeah, these things. Little balls of stuff and you know as soon as the bird starts to pick it apart they just fall down this is what i get all over the desk all over the tv unit let's get that really gone all over the tv unit everywhere one of these hangs up somewhere this is what the floor looks like literally minutes later isn't it you little feathered nightmare so come back to oh, the pneumatic now there's when it smashed over stuff now one thing i noticed when I was taking the battery out, is that if you have the tools on the back, no, 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 let's not start doing that. You can't actually fit the battery in, it, it doesn't fit. You have to then take the tools off to fit it. So, there is one thing this charges to 80% in an hour, so that should hopefully be not too bad. And yeah, it lasts for 80 minutes in low power, 60 minutes in high. And that's going to be plenty. I didn't, I charged my V11 up maybe once a month. Because obviously when you're only using it for a few minutes at a time, suddenly they last forever. So we're going to put this on to normal speed. I'm going to try and do all of this in normal speed. And we'll see how it copes. Come on, you're going to take that bit. And that's more the head. There we go, straight up. That's not bad at all. And again, it's probably not a deep cleaner, but bar this rug, I don't really have anything deep to clean. That is just perfect. And of course, on high power, it does blow itself down quite well indeed with its modern, modern floor. But of course, it's 32 millimetres, which opens you up as he says getting some more heads you know what's coming for everything so we could use a older style head but don't think it's going to be quite as good in terms of actually it is sticks itself down actually better than the newer head god would you look at that blasting round yeah you know, picking up some bits oh i forgot these ones stick That is pretty cool. But what I know a fair few people are going to want to know, especially my good friend and yours, Mr. Loki Tab, is what does it spin an aero brush like? So, on setting one. Not bad. Although, it's spinning slowly. On setting two. It's spinning. I don't know, I don't think it's going to really do much for pets and whatnot. It's, it is spinning, but not a lot. You know, you get the limbs up, but... But apparently...
apparently, even a, you know, the actual Henry cordless doesn't spin a turbo head that well. So I'm going to assume that that isn't bad. This is ever so long with this on it, I must say. So, yeah, that is pretty cool. And again, with the tools as they are, I can do things like, you know, take my computer keyboard, turn it off so I don't spend a load of rubbish on my computer. And yeah, I have to do this two or three times a day sometimes. And we can take this up to the desk and to plug it in and just get things cleaned. I, it's, it's what I'm looking forward to. Again, she is really, really good at it, but she can't, she's just massive. She is just huge. So I'm going to go spread down my normal amount of sawdust really because that's all I have. I don't collect dirt because I don't do this very often. It's, there's no point. And we'll see how well it cleans that up. I don't know why I'm holding this. I can park it there. Ha! Oh, modern technology. Isn't it wonderful? A nice amount of sawdust on the floor. Far more than I'd ever see in day-to-day -day use. And yeah, let's put it... I'm going to keep it on low. Turn it on. It did about as well as I'd expect it to. A couple of passes backwards and forwards. Let's knock it up. Yeah, decent, decent. But of course, after my earlier ramblings about the turbo head. That'd be worse as soon as the sawdust goes up. Yeah. I wouldn't use it with a turbo brush, if I'm honest. I'll just stick to this. You can feel the sawdust clogging up the one. This, yeah. Certainly lacks the oomph of the corded ones. To pull the dirt up and through, it does the job. I wouldn't have this much of a mess normally. If I did, I would have the bits of V9 now because we'd have been stripping something down that would have, you know, turn that down. That would have exploded everywhere. I don't want to use... Oh, whilst you see the new floor tool still do that. I don't want to use this for dirty stuff if I can help it. I want to keep it domestic and nice. So the Victor V9 will still take the brunt of the dirt. But then saying that, you know, it is just an standard pneumatic toolkit. So if I do happen to break this or, you know, the hose gets dirty, we can chuck it in the washing machine and not have to worry. I'm not used to the handle staying up. That's, that, that, that's very new and stiff. Oh, you're dirty. I don't want a dusting brush, you though, because we will scratch the top. Oh, it's very nice. I did notice some dirt up on a shelf. I think we should celebrate by cleaning that up. This is Phoenix's playground, really. We'll take the stones off that I use for him to sit on and, you know, wear his claws down. Yeah, he plays with these little plastic drawers. I put neutral berries in them. And, yeah, they do get quite, quite filthy. So I think it is time to give it a clean. We'll take those away. He knows how to open them and everything. He's ever so clever. I mean, yeah, we can get our dusting brush. This is always a horrible place to clean with the Dyson because obviously because of the angle you have to hold the whole thing up whereas with just our normal pneumatic stuff I could just come around and dust it very nicely indeed no fuss no drama no bother and this is what I do a lot you know I mean if I turn you around here look and point you right there you will see yourself because I use my TV as a viewfinder and yeah again okay, wouldn't be able to do this very well with the dice I'd have to move everything in order to do it let's pull you down yeah. this is just yeah, just like using a corded cleaner it's very good indeed another place that I clean very very regularly oh uh, this might not be camera no it's my desk and obviously i sit at it for eight hours a day at the minute with our current working from home stuff and i can just pull the pneumatic out and actually clean it the dyson never got under here the green oak struggles but this i can just drop around you know move everything 
Isn't it more than enough power to do that? More than enough. I mean, it holds its hose up just on low. It's very good indeed. Another place that Phoenix seems to have discovered is my pin board, which sits on this wall. Above this mess, this is all the cork look that he's ripped off. And yeah, with the Dyson, I'd have to have the gates wide open and sort of hope that they all went up the, the holes. But with this, straight up, zero bother at all. By the hose getting caught. Here's the... Here's the plastic base plate, but you know, wander off, up it comes. And then for the rest of the sort of cleaning that I do, it's literally, you know, feathers floating around the hard floor. So again, grab out Mr. Nematic, and up they go. Gets right under here, in fact the same as the Dyson did to be completely honest with you, but it's just nicer to use, obviously, because of these grey ones that we can move this Hoover Constellation. Cool. Lots of rubbish under there, because I've got my lights out for this filming that we are doing. Yeah, everywhere you go, it just picks up the bits. It's, I like it already, I really do. There we go, really. The unboxing and first look, certainly, although a little bit of a demonstration at the commercial pneumatic NBX 160. Bless it. No, 190. Ah, NBV 190. I must learn my stuff. Do I like it? Yes, I do. I think it's going to fit my circumstances really well. Just being able to grab a crevice tool and a hose, pick up the bits, Put him back, you know, I think this floor head, whilst being new and modern and scratchy, that's not the machine's fault, that's just, this is just what pneumatic give out nowadays. I think it'll be alright, I'm certainly going to keep using it because, you know, if it fails I want to be able to tell you. But all in all, very, very happy indeed. Do I recommend one over a heavy cordless? I can't because I've only ever used a heavy cordless once and that was Mr. Hoover Luxon. That was a fair while ago now. So it probably is better simply because it's, you know, digital motor, more suction power, but it's 500 pounds. Although again, happily go and chuck more than that at loop. Some of the shark robots are, or any robot vacuum cleaner with the self empty seems to be way over 650 quid in the UK. And obviously Dyson will happily chuck out £600 worth of vacuum cleaner that they just make obsolete in three years and basically use us as beta testers. Pneumatic may be doing the same. I don't know. This has its full warranty with Pneumatic, even though I'm sure Mike at MK Cleaning Services Sheffield will help me out. I did say, where does it go? Because obviously if it's going to fail, it's going to fail because, you know, it's just a battery-powered cleaner. Pneumatic or not, there's still plenty of small, tiny components dotted around that could pop off and kill it. So I'll keep you posted. I can't say it's going to be plain sailing, but certainly from this little demonstration, I do like it. I do wish the hose was a bit looser, although it is brand new. Couldn't find a conical hose. It wasn't with Henry 160, so I might fish it out and have a go because, I don't know, it makes more airflow on the corded ones, but then they have a lot more airflow anyway. Probably, this probably hasn't got that much in order to need it, really. Oh, look, it's dusty already bag hasn't popped off is it wouldn't that be funny oh, take this off take the filter off no our oh, hepa flow is still there and then, thank you very much mike for i think that was my that was the payment i sent him a hoover turbo power wheel in the machines box yeah i did we did have a little part exchange for this i now no longer have the new in box hoover turbo master that mr my crazy act very kindly gifted to me because quite frankly I was scared stiff of it going yellow in my storage and never like expressed an interest. And it didn't cost me £500 because of that, to be honest with you, but it is £500 worth of Henry, which is still blowing my mind a little bit. But hey, that's the price you pay for modern technology. Oh yeah, you've got to take the tools out. That's a slight pay, yeah. 
most of that 500 pound goes on this the nx 300 battery which should last me for weeks if i'm only going to use it for 10 15 minutes max at a time shouldn't be too bad but time will tell i think it's coming in static and who knows i think one day when it's not quite so new and shiny we will have them apart and see but yeah i'm not gonna do it now because we've only had it out of the box for half an hour doesn't want that yet so there we go my new daily my new cordless daily is it going to be better than the Dyson? I think the Dyson only lasted a month before the floor head broke that thing that they all did before they very quickly redesigned the whole thing on the quiet and the trigger lasted about another seven months after that. Um, I'd imagine that the V15s are probably tick-tocking their way down to having exactly the same issues with them because I know the trigger's the same part for a start. So yeah, I'm out of the Dyson game. I tried it. It was very good when I had all carpet, but now I've got a mixture of floor types. I only used the one head, which is why I discounted the V15 straight away, because obviously I wouldn't really ever get to use the new style fluffy head with all of its laser glory. What are you doing, Ben? So yeah, complete change in the Becco household. We shall continue with 12 vacuums in 12 months for now. Even though maybe a little bit pointless now, but I like to use the machines. So we'll stick with that. Normal service will be resumed. We're having three videos a week at the minute just because I'm getting on rather well with doing stuff and don't want to keep scheduling stuff later and later in the year. So you'll see this pop up in a couple of months' time in the usual videos possibly. If there's any updates to have, you'll have it. And yeah, when it's not peeing down the rain, we'll take it out to the car because that's probably going to be a question that I'm not. But I think it will be very, very good. Especially when we pick the crevice tool, which, you know, does the suction even more, especially when it's on max. Oh. It is very, very good. So for me and the MBV190, doesn't it just roll off the tongue badly? It's a commercial machine. I can't say anything more than that. We will see you soon. Bye-bye.